Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Kayla. I'm so happy that you're here because we've got another 4th of July video. So this is gonna be our second annual 4th of July party. I showed you guys last year a little tour of our building out back because that's where we have the party at. And I mean, it's mostly outside, but we set up some tables for the food and all of that good stuff. So this year I'm gonna walk you through it all again, kind of, prepping for the party. We've got to clean up the room out there. So that's a bunch of stuff that we've got to do because it definitely needs some cleaning. There's some spider webs and all kinds of stuff going on. Um, so there's that. I'm also going to share some of the party with you guys as well as the fireworks. So let me just say, I love some fireworks. Okay. They're beautiful. Love watching them. But I will say when you are the one buying the fireworks, you're like, oh my gosh, like we're blowing up money. And <laughs> my husband, he got a huge thing of fireworks, you guys. I'm going to show you here in just a little bit. But um, I will say, you know, Christmas is my favorite holiday. We both like Halloween. We were actually married on Halloween. So <laughs> there's that. But if I had to say, you know, Christmas is my favorite holiday. But my husband, Fourth of, Fourth of July is probably his favorite holiday. So I know that he loves the fireworks. He loves doing it. So we're going to do it because, you know, he really, really enjoys it. And it's just a fun party where we invite some friends and some family and do a cookout and all of that good stuff. So let's get into it. Let me show you what we're going to be doing. And I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Leave me a comment down below. You may be seeing this video before the actual 4th of July because we're having our party on July 1st, so the Saturday before. Um, but if I don't end up getting the video out before 4th of July, then, you know, let me know down in the comments what kind of plans you have or had. Are you going to stay home? Are you going to watch a fireworks show? Are you having your own party? What are you doing? Let me know down in the comments and let's go ahead get into this video plus if you're new to my channel I am so happy that you're here I think I already said that but stick around hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any new ones and let's go ahead and celebrate the 4th of July <laughs> it's been a while since we've been back here. There is a piano back here, yes. Um, yeah, so it is almost how we left it uh, last 4th of July. No, I mean, I'm kidding. I've been in here several times to bring stuff back here, like some of our um, holiday decor and things like that. But some stuff is literally just like laying around. Um, so Chloe's son from the 4th of July from last year is still there, perfectly intact, so that'll be awesome. Um, but yeah, let's walk over here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We need to, uh, really sweep in here because if you see, it looks like some, I thought those were dead ants, but I don't know, but there's a big old spider right there. You can't see its web, but the spider is there. Um, we do have this fridge out here that we can put drinks and different things in as it leads yeah, up to went, party went, day. Oh, um, no, the fridge is fine. Okay. I checked it just a few days ago, actually. But look at this, guys. This is the door that we don't really use that much. Now, during the day of the party, we do because everybody is over here in this area. So basically, oh, I'm going to watch out for these spiders. Um, basically, out here in our field area we'll be having the party over this way like over in this open area but yeah we have not opened this door in quite some time so as you can see like forever um dirt and spiders and stuff has built up over several months especially like during the winter time stuff like that um the door that we come in oh sorry baby is the one over here so you can see that this is the way that we normally will walk in. So yes. I go over in these other buildings quite often because I have some of my stockpile and some other things. Uh, well, it's the same building, but other rooms. So basically I go in there to do different stuff, but I've not been in here in a while and that is why it is so messy. And I really should 
coming here at least once a month, even if we're not having any kind of gatherings or anything and just keep it, you know, swept up so it doesn't get this bad. But you guys know how it is. Life sometimes you get so busy and you just don't have time to, to come in here and do it. So yeah, I need to be better about that. <laughs> In a team effort, myself, my husband, and the kids went ahead and started cleaning up in here in this room. We were turning down the AC a little bit to keep us cool. We were sweeping, um, spraying some bug spray, all of that good stuff. My husband was like, what is that? I was like, I'm, I'm recording. I'm making a video. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we spent a good bit of time out here. You can even tell if you kind of look towards the area where the door is. Um, the weather this afternoon just kept on getting worse and worse. So it started off like bright and sunny and keep in mind it's not even almost you know nighttime anything like that and you'll see that it starts to get darker and darker because the storm was rolling in so um yeah but Reba was out here with us if you saw her running around and then you'll see if you're looking towards the door my husband passing back and forth on the mower because he was mowing as well then we started setting up all the tables and by this time you can really see it's starting to get a little darker out there but we wanted to get as much done as possible like i said this was on monday before the party on saturday and i had a hair appointment on tuesday so i didn't want to sweat my hair out after i got it done so i was like okay let's get as much done on monday as we can so that way i have less to do throughout the week well, y'all, it started getting dark and started storming while we were in here. Um, we got most of it done. We swept a lot. We'll still have to sweep some more leading up to party day. But we got our tables out here at least. And then we're going to see, you know, what else we're going to do in the next few days. I got to find the tablecloths I bought because I can't find them. So hopefully I can find them. But, yeah, we got it cleaned up pretty good in here. So, oh, <laughs> we still got a few spiders that are lingering, but, you know, overall got a lot accomplished this afternoon. So, that's what I wanted to do. So, I have less to do during the week before the party, but we're going to have to spray some more for more spiders, for sure. So between videoing and editing and everything, I accidentally deleted my video where I showed my Walmart grocery delivery order and a few items that I picked up at Aldi. So I ended up getting burgers from Aldi. They were 10 for $10. I got four packs of those. Then I got buy one, get one free hot dogs over at Publix. Then I got a few different things from Walmart like potatoes to make our loaded mashed potatoes. I got all the buns and stuff from Walmart. Got lots of plates, napkins, silverware, serving utensils, and little light-up bracelets for the kids. And all of those things were anywhere from $0.98 cents each to $1.98 each. So very cheap for all those. So I was happy with that. I also ended up getting $1.98 tablecloths from Walmart because I could not find the tablecloths that I could have sworn I bought. All right, so we broke out the dolly so that way we can carry all of our drinks and chips. I'm carrying the buns just in case they start falling off. <laughs> Chloe wants to have a turn too, pushing it. You want her to take a turn for a minute? Well, here, let her try because she wants to do it for a minute. Fine. <laughs> I'll tell you where I'm going to do it. My turn. You're little bit over there. And my husband has to mow the grass in the next couple of days. So that way it's short when everybody comes out. We're a little overdue on cutting it. All right, y'all, so it's the day before the party. Let me show you what I got set up so far. I had tons of chips, 
They, I got buy one, get one free at Walgreens a little while back. Got tons of buns, got some condiments. I gotta add more to that, of course. Um, hopefully lots of people are gonna bring sides and different things that are gonna be on these tables. Um, got some goody kind of stuff over here. So over here we've got light up bracelets and glow sticks for the kids. We've got some um, different color hairsprays and glitter sprays because Chloe said she'll spray some of the kids' hair if they want. <laughs> we've got lots of plates and napkins and things like that. So so then we also have over here a few different little things. I made sure to buy lots of the serving spoons and things like that this year. So we've got all that. And yeah, pretty much just came in here and put on these tablecloths. These tablecloths are paper, paper tablecloths that I got at Walmart for $1.98 each. So not too pricey and I think they look nice. So yeah, that's what we got set up so far. It is almost party day. So there's that, got the games there laying on the floor that we haven't set up yet. And then also over here in the fridge, Chloe put some drinks in our spare fridge over here. So that way some drinks can start getting cold. My husband asked me to pick up a couple of the kinds of drinks he likes. We got some burgers in there. We got some hot dogs down there. I got some of this sweet tea, which I either I'm gonna leave them in the jugs like this or I'm gonna put them into like a nice big pitcher. We'll see. So Chloe's over here making a little red, white, and blue tray. She did strawberries, blueberries, watermelon. Then we did the little Hershey popping candies um, and then powdered donuts and little marshmallows because she wanted to have that part to be all white. So here she yeah. is. <laughs> just got my hair She's done the, too. Oh yeah, she just got her new hairdo. Look <laughs> at her. So cute. <laughs> and she did a really good job with this. I think it's so pretty. Here she is with a little fruit tray. <laughs> so cute. And Chloe also made Rice Krispies. Look how cute it is. She said it looks like one of the um, popsicles. So when you make your Rice Krispies just like you normally would, you melt the marshmallows and then put your food coloring like in each like one. So split up some and then that way you have your regular and then you have your red. And you're blue, but I thought that was so cute. She's doing such a good job making all these snacks. I'm making so many different snacks for it. And they're all turning out good. That's like a first And for these me. are like so <laughs> simple, but like really cute and really good snacks too. Yeah. Another one, I just like, we just bought some things and put them in a little like container. I love it. And y'all look, she put a popsicle stick at the end of it. So it makes it look like it's one of those um, little popsicles for <laughs> for the July. It's so cute. Look at Axel, he looks so handsome. He got on his 4th of July outfit already. So it's like 9.30 in the morning so and our party isn't until 7 tonight, but he's got his outfit. Oh, you look so Wait, cute. We bought um, this outfit, when was it? Uh, we bought it a while back at Kohl's. Yeah. But it kind of looks like 4th of July it's there on the Nike so mark. Endless. Yeah, and he's had that little dinosaur button up for a little while. So he looks so cute. It is really hot out here for 9 a.m., isn't it? I just, I'm just leaving this unbuttoned because you can also see this. Perfect. Nike. It looks so good. I love it. And I got Nike on this, too. Yeah, you look handsome. Now we're going to put some spray stuff in my hair. It's, like, going to be, um, um, it's going to be blue, red, and white. Mm-hmm. Sissy so gonna do it for you. I wasn't really sure about the white, but I kind of wanted to look like the American flag. Yeah. But just stripes. Yeah, we'll see what she can do for you. <laughs> so, I just peeled a whole um, bag of potatoes because I am making some loaded mashed potatoes. This is one of my favorite things um, to make. <laughs> And I've kind of found a simpler way to do the potatoes. So peel them, chop them all up, put them in the Instapot with a cup, cup and a half of water or so for like 12 minutes. It gets them all nice and soft. And then I can mash them up and add all my other ingredients like the butter, um, pepper, salt, garlic, um, a little bit of milk cheese bacon all of that is what we put in ours so yeah i'm excited because i am peeling these potatoes a little early it's only 12 o'clock in the afternoon you guys the party's at seven but i'm gonna go ahead peel these chop them up and then a little bit later today is when i'm gonna start you know 
finishing them up and everything but I wanted to go ahead and get this part out of the way because that's the part that takes me the longest stood here for about 10 15 minutes or so um just using my potato peeler and peeling these potatoes Axel came in here he goes how long have you been peeling these potatoes I said well not too long but it has taken me a little bit of time so I told y'all that Cody bought this huge thing of fireworks Oh my gosh, I was not lying. It's called the Godfather Pack. <laughs> yeah, so he got that. He also got these big smoke bombs for the kids, which I think we're going to save a few sparklers and smoke bombs for actual for the July so they can do those. Just fun, small little things. But yeah, he got this huge pack, so should be a pretty good fireworks show. All right, y'all, so it's party day, but... Um, it is, it's 5.30 right now. Our party starts at 7. It's been pouring down rain. So we're going to see, um, if it clears up, hopefully, because our party is outside. So, yeah. But anyways, I forgot to record myself making the mashed potatoes, but there they are. You guys can kind of see them. It is loaded mashed potatoes. So I'm talking, you know, lots of butter and um, cheese Ooh, butter. and bacon. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put it all in the pan and then get the lid on it. It'll probably stay warm for quite a while. Show me. Love it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm still cooking mashed potatoes, but here's <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> this is my outfit. Actually, yes. this is mom's shirt. <laughs> <But> <laughs> these are shorts that we actually got, like, yesterday, I think. Yeah, like, that was one of the pairs from American Eagle. It's perfect. <laughs> all right, y'all, and here it is. All the cheese hasn't melted yet. You can put it in the oven and, like, bake it for just a little bit to get the cheese to melt, but um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine, too. If you get the cheese on top of the mashed potatoes while they're still hot, it will melt on its own, so this will finish up melting here in just a minute, and you can put more or less bacon, whatever you want to do on the top there, but it's got cheese and bacon all inside of it, too. It is very, very simple to make, and like you saw, I've been making the mashed potatoes in the inside pot which makes it so easy and then just scoop it into a pan and it's ready to serve if you're making it for your family and you um don't necessarily want to put it in a serving dish you know for a bunch of people or something you can leave it right there in your insta pot and then just scoop it out into bowls and put top it with cheese and bacon to save you from dirtying up another dish so there is that it's one of our favorites and y'all, I thought you might appreciate this dish towel right here because this is about me. I was born to be wild, but only until about 9 p.m. or so. <laughs> and here is Chloe doing Axel's hair. So he wanted red and blue hair for the 4th of July. We also got a white one, but we didn't realize that the white was silly string. So later on, she starts to use the white for one of the other kids and it just sprays silly string on their head. And here is the fireworks all out of the package, plus a few more. And there's my husband. He is cleaning the grill to get ready to do hot dogs and hamburgers. And there's my husband starting our bonfire with a flamethrower. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up, you guys. And then Chloe was doing hairstyles for her cousin and for my best friend's daughter. By this time, everyone was starting to show up, and one of our friends made these delicious homemade cookies. Lots of people brought some really delicious looking cookies, also deviled eggs, and um, someone else brought some coleslaw and potato salad. Of course, we got fruit and more fruit, yeah. and everybody is just having a good time hanging out, waiting for the fireworks. It was storming before the party started, but thankfully the rain stopped, it cleared up, and we had a good night. Here's a few pictures. That's Chloe, me, and my mom. My mom and Axel. Honestly, we're having such a good time, I forgot to take many pictures. Here's my husband, some friends, and family all just hanging out. And of course, I have to add in a little bit of fireworks for you guys. It was a really good night. I mostly walked around, talked to everybody. Then I sat down, ate some food, and just enjoyed the fireworks. And yeah, it was a pretty relaxing, chill party. <laughs> Almost everybody showed up, so that was nice. And I didn't record all the fireworks, but I tried to get a few videos.
If you hear some loud yelling here in a minute, that is my mom showing her excitement for the fireworks. <laughs> Do you guys ever see those memes on Facebook that says, no one wants to watch your 4th of July fireworks videos? <laughs> so I don't want to bore you guys too much, but just wanted to show a little bit of our fireworks and tell you all that I hope you have a very happy 4th of July.